Hey guys, so I love the Eco Brush because they've thought about the product right from how it's made all the way through to the end of its life cycle, including the packaging. And that's why we're proud to have them on as sponsors for this season's podcast of Eco Me and Eco You. Hey guys, welcome to Eco Me and Eco You. Proudly brought to you by the Eco Brush. I know, okay. Uh... What were you going to say? That's why you what? Uh, yeah, I was saying, I'm like, I should tilt the screen so only I can see it. And then you, don't. <laughs> I, and then you won't know when I press the record. Yeah. I never know when you record. Yeah, because I feel like now you kind of watch it. I know, now I'm like, I know we're recording. Yeah. And I'm like, do, do, do. <laughs> so normally what happens is Nick starts the intro because she knows that she's recording me just talking smack. And then she just... Yeah, usually Crystal's just distracted. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Nick is the organized one. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not. It's more I'm just like, this would be a good time to start recording. I'm just like, boop. <laughs> You're like, okay, enough shit. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cough now. <coughs> okay. Now you can intro. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back, guys, to season two. Whoop, whoop. So it's very exciting. We took a little break. Yeah. Which... I don't think we planned it, but then it kind of just worked out. <laughs> no, a lot of stuff had just kind of gone down yeah. and we like keep pushing out recording dates and we're like, oh, shall we just call it time for now? And then just, we had a lot of stuff going on personally. Yeah. Just took a time out to kind of refresh and now we're back. Mm. And this season we're quite excited, as you probably would have heard from the intro, that we now have a sponsor. Yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, so Eco, the Eco Brush is now sponsoring us for the season's episode, and we want to thank them because, like, we we do love them. We're, it's a really good brand that Nick and I both use, and we're quite honoured and to have have them like offer. Yeah, offer a sponsorship. A sponsorship. Yeah. yeah, it makes you feel like I, I was telling Crystal, I'm like, even though we were kind of doing this just to inform and just like have the conversation, it's nice to have it kind of recognised. Yeah. And then yeah. also, yeah, means that it saves because we pay for hosting ourselves and stuff like that. So it's nice to have <laughs> a little bit of response to help out of that admin. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's definitely true. Mm. So thanks, guys. Thanks yeah. so much, Nat. Thanks, Eco Brush. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we are going to dive into the usual and asking how our sustainable journey is going. Oh, am I to go first? Nick, would you like to go first? <laughs> um, how about you go first? Okay, instead? cool. I'll go first. Um, well, I'm pretty excited to say that we've got our finally got a um Pikachu bin. I know. I saw that on Instagram. I was actually very excited. So we must have had it for over a month now. Mm. And it'll be Simon that's actually the driving force behind it. He's like, oh, we should get a Bakashi bin, we should get a Bakashi bin. I'm like, no, I want to do a composting workshop first so I know what I'm doing Mm. and to make sure I get the right one. And actually picked it up from Bunnings because there's quite a few options around and I was Mm. going to get one from the Eco store. But it doesn't have a tap on it. Ah. So for those of you who don't know, a Bakashi bin is like, it's like a Japanese Japanese fermentation process of waste. And then you, so you fill up your Pikachu bin only once a day and you give it this like spray or like some sprinkle stuff. And then when it's full, you let it sit for two weeks. And then every few days you need to empty the liquid that comes out of it. Mm. And that liquid is like gold. Mm. So it's a great fertilizer for your plants. Um, and it is also a drain cleaner. So if we if you don't have plants or if we have too much, we can just put it down our drains to clear them up and it's not going to be damaging for the environment that way. Yeah, that's well, awesome. I don't think so. From my understanding, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, and then at the end of the two weeks, you'll get like a, like a solid waste that can then go into a compost. Mm-hmm. So we will still have to take it somewhere to put it into a proper compost because we can't have a real compost bin when we're in, the, in an apartment. Mm. Um, 
and then we could have a worm farm but the worm farm you've got to be really particular about what you put in it so with yeah. the cashew bin you can put everything in so i've tried some compostable packaging to see how that works as well. oh nice yeah so this is very exciting and it's got a little tap on it so we can empty that liquid because otherwise i probably wouldn't do it yeah because what would you do if it didn't have a tap you'd have to so then like a double bucket mm. and you'd have to take one bucket out which has got all the holes in it and then empty it out of the other one and guys it pongs like it is quite a vile <laughs> smell <laughs> i was warned of this which i'm very grateful for but um i i love it i think it's like the best way that we can we can compost at home and after our size of apartment and not having an outdoor space so i'm keen to excited to see where it goes yeah awesome i'm a bit jealous oh because i haven't got one yet wow the next episode yeah <laughs> we did talk about it in one of our episodes I know. that you had until like x date to get a compost pan and i it don't just, think that's happened yeah it's just like because we've got our wedding end Ooh. of the that's like anything that costs money we like have to seriously think about yeah. it and because it, it's like the like the bakash bin's like just uh, it's not that expensive i think it's only about we bought a 12 liter for 40 bucks oh Okay, well, I thought it was more expensive than that. Maybe I was looking at the bigger volume ones. You can get one. bigger volume ones that are like $60 or oh, $70. Okay. I think it depends what brand you get. Yeah, so we just kind of have to like second guess everything. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. I understand, mm. I understand that completely. It's literally where all the money goes is, yeah. here you go, wedding, have my money. Yep. <laughs> I, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Um, other than that, like, it's just been same, same, really. Like, mm. we've finally got into a routine in the new house of getting, like, groceries, which is good. Like, nice. going down every so every second week. Our friend who has a car picks us up. We go down to the La Segal Farmer's Market and do our veggie shop and the, the box shops next door. And then we swing past the um, the other Parnell Markets mm. to grab milk in a refillable glass jar oh yeah yeah which has been cool like uh, um, it's it's nice getting back into a routine and feeling like you're on top of it where before it was we just hadn't worked out the easiest way to get around because it's a bit further away from our usual watering holes yeah Mm. cool and then we've also had friends staying with us so this is the bad side of it we've had friends staying with us Mm. um including the child yeah. Who has pooey nappies. Oh. <laughs> so we've had a number of pooey nappies go into our rubbish bin, which is... Yeah. <laughs> so, they must have hurt you. Do well, you know my... what? It actually doesn't, because mm. like initially I was like, oh, we're going to have rubbish. And I'm like, do you know what? It's fine. Like, it's not my rubbish. No. And... She's a mum, she's here on her own, like, she doesn't have the dad's not here, because mm. he's, they live overseas, and two-year-old running around, like, it was sick, like, sometimes people just need to do things that work for them, Yeah. and I totally respect that, and I'm mm. not going to judge people, and I'm also learning not to let things upset me, Yeah. when it's out of my control, Yeah. because it's not healthy for you. No. Yeah. It's not. You have to think about... You are, we just did a workshop on being less stressed at work. Yeah. And one of the techniques was like a worry map. So if you have a worry going down what you like can control, what you can't, mm-hmm. like what you can and what you can't do, and then what you can control and what you can't control. Yeah. And they said it's a very easy way to kind of be like, okay, these are the things I need to do and make it realistic. Mm. Um, And then if it's something that you can't control, then just being accepting that and not letting it get to you mm-hmm. yeah so good so so good mm. and like the whole sustainable journey isn't supposed to be a stressful one no. you're supposed to enjoy this because if it's hot not a pleasant experience for you then you're not going to want to do it yeah so that's another thing but that comes i think later on in your journey yeah i think it takes a while it takes a while like it was two years ago that i did my first bulk shop mm. like just recently and it's quite yeah if you look back at like my old posts and then now and I like, just thinking about how I feel now to how I did two years ago. Like yeah. seeing rubbish on the streets used to stress me out so much and I'd get really angry about it. Mm. But now like I kind of don't think about it. 
Yeah. Like it's bad that I don't think about it, but it's good at the same time because it means that I'm not adding extra stress and worry yeah. to myself and I can focus my energy on doing better things elsewhere mm. than worrying about other people. Yeah, it makes sense. A mess. Thinking about what you can control. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool. Okay, now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. I actually thought about some things while you were Sweet. talking, which was like good because I, I was like, if Crystal goes to me, I'm like, I don't know where to start. <laughs> so um, <laughs> what we have started doing is we talked about it when we did the grocery kind of episode and how we use food bag. Mm. So now what we've gone to now is we will do like a food bag every four weeks and then the rest of the time I will – uh meal plan the washing machine okay i'm <laughs> sorry <laughs> so sorry meal plan uh yeah so i'll meal plan for like three meals a week because i know that definitely three nights a week will be at home yeah so it means i'm also i've reduced my meat consumption nice so like this week for example we had oh we had steak one night but then the other two nights we had like halloumi burgers and then we had like halloumi salad. I'm a bit obsessed with halloumi. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. But it means that I've also been able to, it's been nice to kind of shop. I do it on a Monday after work and I go to like a, a local, not a normal supermarket, like an Asian supermarket. Yep. And I get all of the fruit and veg from there. And it's most of the time I can avoid plastic. Mm. So it's quite good. So it's I've been enjoying it and I've been able to lower my meat consumption, which I'm like I'm such people like people call me like a T Rex. Like that's how much you I me. like meat. <laughs> so we need to take the step and being like, Okay, we need to yeah. go meatless like a couple of days or at least one day a week. Yeah. Just because I'm like it's actually something I could easily change. Yeah. To reduce yeah, reducing your meat intake, especially when it's something that we're so used to, mm. is definitely, like, a big challenge. Yeah. And it takes a long time to get there, I think. Yeah, I think um, so too. And a lot of people, like, my brother gives me so much shit about it. Like, the other day, I posted a picture of my vegetarian meal, my vegan meal, and he's like, mm. oh, it would be nice if it had meat. <laughs> and I'm like, you would love it. He's like, yeah, if it had meat. And he's just like, you know, he like... Like, you can't get past that because as a kids, we grew up as a meat and three veg. Like, yeah. that was, like, our diet. Yeah, same with, same with me as yeah. well. Yeah, so it's been interesting. I've had conversations with people at work as well because yeah. they've seen my thing like, oh, yeah, that looks really good. And I'm like, oh, I got – because I've been getting the meals from HelloFresh. So we've changed from food bag to HelloFresh. Oh, yeah. Because they also have – you can select vegetarian options. Mm. So when we do have it once a month. I'll pick, like, I'll make sure that there's a vegetarian option in one of the meals we oh, pick. No. Yeah. So it's quite good. I'm That's enjoying good. that. What else have I been doing? I've been making, deca- like, bunting for my wedding. Cool. So I've been trying to think about how I can make it or get it, like, my decorations locally. So mm-hmm. I'm not paying for things to be shipped all the way here. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. So just been doing that. What else have I been doing? Bits and bobs. Just trying to encourage other people to make a change or yeah. use their reusable cup. Yeah. But yeah, I've been quite happy with meal planning. I'm like, yay, I've That's reduced good. my meat consumption and I'm not like getting lots of plastic though. So I so I go to the like Asian supermarket to get all my fruit and veg mm. and then some of the ingredients I need aren't in there. So I then go to pack and save, which I don't really enjoy <laughs> You're pack like and save. <laughs> I don't really enjoy their layout. I feel like they force you to go through the produce, through meat, and refrigerate before you can get to the aisles. Yeah. So I find that it increases your time you're in the supermarket. Oh, uh, yeah. And I've worked in supermarkets for so long that I'm like, actually, the shortest amount of time I can be there is better. Just because I think I'm an introvert as well. So like having all of those people around me really yeah. stresses me out. Yeah. And usually sometimes I can be real angry as well. I'm just like, I'm not. I'm not here for this. <laughs> Get out of my way. But so I go past the produce aisle and then there's people still using plastic. like plastic bags. And I'm just like, so I'm like, I'm like, I just have to take a deep breath. I'm like, okay, like don't focus on that. Like go on yeah. and 
yeah do your yeah. grab your other stuff so yeah. yeah yeah so that's been fun good on you i'm proud of you thanks <laughs> yeah. speaking of plastic bags yeah so by the time this podcast is released something very exciting would have happened i know it's dun, very dun, exciting dun. so as of the first of july Plastic bags will be banned throughout New Zealand. I know. And Yay. that includes that stupid thick bag that is like, oh, I'm a reusable bag. No, you're a plastic bag. Oh. You are a dirty <laughs> plastic bag. <laughs> like, oh, it's a reusable bag. And it's like, mate, it's still like, it's still plastic. It's not even pretending to be something else. It's pure plastic. Yeah. I'm really, I'm actually, I, so there was like a you could have your say in it. Mm. And I was like, I'm having a say in this. <laughs> and that was one of the questions was like, should we ban it from this thickness or this thickness? I'm like, um, this thickness? Mm. <laughs> yeah. And I think I think it does include the produce bags because that's a plastic bag, right? Yeah, that would be awesome in mm. having that not available to customers because, yeah. yeah, people do just use them. And use a lot of them as well. Oh, I see people put the weirdest things in them, like a yeah. bunch of bananas in a plastic bag. I'm like, you don't even eat the skin on the banana. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I've also been doing my 100-day oh, yeah. project. So I've been... So it's every year I attempt to do this 100-day project. And usually the projects I decide to do have been too hard to do for 100 days. <laughs> but this time I decided to do like a tip a day to like reduce your waste or like to make people start thinking about reducing their waste. Mm. So I, I do like a little drawing and some sweet typography. Yeah. So I've been doing that. So it's been quite fun. Yeah, that's cool. It's been cool following you and seeing what you write. Yeah. So go check her out if you haven't seen her 100 days. I know because it's very like close to the end right i know we're on day i think 70 something i'm a little bit behind just because i've had a crazy yeah couple of weeks but i've been that's why today i was like posting i (laughs) I was like well we should be busy (laughs) because i'm like sometimes i'll draw them but i won't i get really particular about the type of light i take the photo with (laughs) such a designer yeah like i don't want the light to be too yellow so oh uh, yeah i have to make sure it's like done in daytime or when i'm at work when they have nice lighting yeah yeah i understand yeah. so i've been doing that so that's been good and getting positive feedback from that so that's good that's good and that's people really have been good. like engaging or like having questions and stuff I've seen that that's yeah. really good and that's what you want is you want yeah. people engaging with what you're doing yeah like i had who did i have what one was it on? Oh, about um, taking your own container for uh, into the supermarkets to get, like, your meat or if you went to the yep. deli. Yeah, yeah. And she just asked, oh, how do I go about doing that? And I'm like, oh, here's a little, like, I know, like, Foodstuffs has started doing it and I'm pretty sure Countdown. They've just introduced they've it They've just introduced well. yeah. it. And I'm like, here's a link to kind of the process that That's they cool. do. That. You just basically hand it over and they, they do spray the container to make sure it's food safe. Do they? Yeah, they do. I didn't know that. Yeah. But they spray it with. What nasty chemicals <laughs> they sprayed in my container? Well, it'll, it'll just be the stuff that they use to clean the... um. Well, that's what I read in the countdown one. I'm not sure if they've changed that. Just because they have to take responsibility if that person gets... Sick. Sick. So they want to make sure that... It's clean, which makes sense, I suppose. It does make sense, but I guess it just, I would want to know what they're spraying into my container that oh, yeah. I bring fresh out of the dishwasher mm. sterilize. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't think that new world, the new world side of things was that progressive no. did that. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think Countdown was the one I was reading because they were did talking that. about their trial that they were doing in certain yeah. supermarkets. Yeah. So they just went through the process of that. Yeah, so Pack and Save, New World, and Foursquare, which is progressive, they've... No, it's... Wait, isn't that Foodstuffs? It's Pack and Save, Foodstuffs. Why isn't that just Countdown? That's Foodstuffs. Oh, yeah, maybe. Sorry, I'm getting my two big brands. I don't know. Anyway, confused. it doesn't matter. Those three supermarkets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, They have... Yeah, 
um, announced that all of the North Island is now allowed to bring their containers. So they had already run the trial and then Countdown has kind of come back with that saying, that, okay, well, we're going to try our next stores. Yeah. So I think they're trying it in a bunch of their Auckland stores, yeah. if not all of it, and then some yeah. in other stores. Yeah. I remember going into a Countdown and being like, oh, can I use my own container? And the guy just looked at me really weirdly and just shook his head at me. <laughs> I'm like, but why? And he just shook his head at me. <laughs> he just looked at me like I was freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, like speaking of like sustainable things, this is my friend's story, but I thought it was quite cool. She said that she was in Sydney recently and she was surprised that she didn't get a single plastic straw in her drinks, even though she never asked not to have one because she kind of oh, forgot. That's awesome. And her friend said, oh, yeah, basically, like if you put a straw in someone's drink like you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> like that people just think like what the fuck yeah so that's, that's quite awesome. cool yeah i wish they'd do that in I new zealand i wish that was just the norm i would like to see new zealand just ban single-use plastics canada's just announced they're banning single-use plastics yeah i don't know why we're so far behind when we're such a small country <laughs> And we can implement these things quite quickly. Yeah, a bit faster than other yeah. countries. We should be, we really should be at the forefront of this whole movement. Mm. But anyway. now we're playing a bit of catch up. Yeah, we're playing catch up. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Keep asking for these things. Keep demanding it from like the big people, and that's what we'll get. Yeah, because I mean, what we did this is it almost a year ago? It was now? a year ago we started recording. Yeah. Yeah. That. Like, the amount of change that has happened because, like, a customer has, like, been it's like, we want. want this. Yeah. How much change there's been. Yep. It's been Ooh. all amazing. That's why the supermarkets have started letting customers bring in their own containers because that's what the customer wants. Yeah. You as a customer actually have the power to tell the retailers what you want and they're going to listen to you. So yeah. by going to the supermarket and buying your vegetables not wrapped in plastic, you're telling them that that's what you want. Mm. Like, they look at all these stats at what sells and what doesn't sell, so. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Keep do doing it. it. Yeah. One small change has a massive impact, yeah. and don't Huge let impact. anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah. Don't let the haters get you yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well. Shall we start? Our actual topic. Yeah, I know. We we did a bit of a catch up, but that's well, all right. That's what we kind of thought. It's been a whole season, so. I know. Yeah. Cool. So, as it is the 2nd of July that we're releasing this, we are going to talk to you about Plastic Free July. Mm. And kind of what each of us are going to be doing and how you can make a change, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of talking about it. Yeah. Um. So... Plastic Free July is all about um, eliminating single-use plastics. Mm. So hopefully a lot of you are already doing this, but if not, like, it's a great way to start. Um, it's also a great way to actually get other people involved. So, like, are you doing anything at work this year? So what I decided was people were, t like, my coworkers talking about oh, we should do, like, junk three, junk free June. June. And yep. I'm like, how about, guys, we do it junk free July because okay. I'm doing plastic free July. Yeah. And it will mean, because a lot of the, like, junk food and stuff is in plastic. So yep. I'm like, it will mean that we're motivating each other <laughs> yep, yep. to make these changes. So yeah, that's our plan. And I think we'll probably be doing something. I know that... Uh, company I work for back life environmental day quite hard so that's cool I can see them doing something or encouraging people to do something yeah. for plastic free July yeah that's cool yeah um plastic free July is actually a massive moment um so it was set up in western Australia in 2011 and has like millions of people like joining in on the challenge at like 170 different countries around mm. the world like that just like you know that one person was like or well, a couple of people were like right let's start this movement and like it is just massive worldwide so that's really another good example of showing you that one person's actions do make a difference yeah um so you can head on over to the plastic free july.org website and you can join 
join that be part of the challenge um you can pick what it is in particular that you want to cut out Mm -hmm. um there is actually new this year plastic free aotearoa um as part of the waste men's organization Mm. (laughs) (laughs) um so they have like over on the waste men's website you can actually see a whole lot of different like ways to get involved and also like how you can get involved at work Mm. so they have like a lunchbox library so you have a whole lot of lunchboxes at the office and people go out to get takeaways they can just take it clean and put it back um same as like a cup library reusable bag library they show you how to do plastic free workshops where you can make beeswax wraps um that's all i've got you can like it just gives you loads of tips and tricks on like how you can get involved and get other people involved yeah because um last year what i did is i because i was very new on my journey um i decided just to eliminate like takeaway uh, plastic so try refuse like plastic straws or if we're getting takeaways not getting takeaways or making sure they were going to a place that has like compostable or very minimal mm. packaging yeah. and it was quite good because it made me very aware of kind of the just the plastic yeah that's all around which i think you don't really you're not really aware until you're like have to cut it out or like you're doing something like this and you actually yeah. recognize you're like oh look there's plastic in this thing and it's like yeah, oh yeah. i didn't think about this thing being in plastic and stuff yeah. like that so yeah 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 it's very good i think it made me way more aware yeah of just how much plastic there is yeah it's quite scary yeah and it kind of just like even as a seasoned person yeah. it's like just doing plastic free july just i think resets you a bit as well yeah it's a good reason just to kind of like like for me who i you know been doing it quite a few years and i'm quite comfortable where i am like i'm not perfect and i'll never say that i'm perfect but it's yeah a good time for me to kind of like take a step back and really like kind of relook at what i'm doing and Mm. what what i can change yeah um i have not thought about what i'm gonna change i there's like other things that i'm gonna do instead i think that are different to what i would normally do so um, there's another challenge that's going on through July and it's called the Change One Challenge, which is a New mm. Zealand company that's trying to trigger one person's change. You know, it can lead to lots of little changes, mm. which makes it bigger overall. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to, like, it seems so silly. There's three things, actually, I think I want to do. And the first one, which does seem really silly, is, like, eat all of the broccoli. Yeah. Like, how many people actually eat the stem of the broccoli? You know, a lot of people. I only started doing it, like, recently. Yeah, because yeah. that's waste. That's a really good bit of nutritious food that you're mm. not eating, right? So it, it doesn't taste very nice, I don't think. I had it today in a frittata, Yeah, which was fine, because you totally didn't taste that. No. Um, But, yeah, I'm going to try and... I had so many people comment saying what you can do instead of them and like put them in soups and like sometimes I'll just cut oh. them up like the rest of the broccoli and yeah. eat it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, another thing that I really want to do is I'm actually just about to run out of my toothpaste and I have two lots of tooth tablets, toothpaste tablets, mm. which are plastic free. Yeah. And they're fluoride, which was the biggest thing for me is like I needed something that had fluoride in it. Yeah. If you listen back onto some of our other podcasts where we talk about it or my Instagram posts, um, but I'm like, I need to actually just use the toothpaste tablets. Like, I don't like them. Yeah. I straight up don't like how they feel in my mouth. <laughs> I don't like, um, I don't know. It's something that you really have to get used to. So yeah. I'm going to use this as a, an excuse to just do it. And yeah. Get used to it. And fingers crossed at the end of the month, I don't mind them. Yeah. Cool. Because that's a big, no plastic in the house situation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, And the next thing. Like, it's actually so not, like, really related to being plastic-free at all or low-waste, but it's definitely more sustainable, and that's changing power company. Oh, yeah. So, in New Zealand, we're lucky enough to actually have, like, 85% of our power is renewable. Mm. And um, there's loads of different companies out there, but there's one called Electric City, 
who is 100% renewable. Mm. They're a carbon neutral company. And I've talked about them before. And I'm like, I just need to make the change. Yeah. So I'm going to use, yeah, like Plastic Free July and this change one thing to actually just do that. Cool. Even though that's a husband job, I'm making them do it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. What have I got planned? I just plan to try eliminate as much plastic as possible that month. So just being, if I want treats or something, just mm. making sure I'm not getting it in plastic and you're just trying to eliminate as much plastic from and just seeing at the end of the month being like okay what can i like actually eliminate like all the time yeah so it should be good it'll be good yeah so you're just gonna overall overarch plastic ban rule yeah i'm just gonna be like very strict in <laughs> my uh being a, like a no plastic yeah. so what i want to do is like go to because we haven't really gone to like a refillery or anything like that i know which doesn't make sense and my eyes are like what? i know super <laughs> super big so like that's something i'd like to do that month and maybe like doing stuff like that that we haven't done yet like yep. go out and experience it and see so much fun yeah how we can fit it into our day-to-day yeah yeah that's quite cool Mm, the good, good thing about bulk buying is that you can actually just be like, right, I'm going to do it this once a month and I just yeah. do a massive haul. Like it costs more money. Yeah. But that's going to last you like a whole month. Mm. And then you only have to think about it once a month. Yeah. That which gives you more time to do other fun things. Yeah. So I've literally been like sewing away a couple of nights a week yeah. on my bunting. So it's been all right. It's like a flamingo print. That's one of the amazing. Things. I'll have to show you after this, you actually. You show me. Exciting. I need to figure out how I'm going to sew it onto the rope, though. I but can help you with that, for yeah, sure. That's what I figured. You're, you're crafty. <laughs> I'm crafty. Yeah, well, you sew, right? I, I you haven't did. done for quite some time, yeah. but I can sew, yes. <laughs> that's right. I, I trained in sewing. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, we know what we're doing for Plastic Free July, but what are you guys going to be doing for Plastic Free July? So, we'd love to hear like what you are going to be doing so like give us some feedback and tell us what your plans are but in case you're a bit stuck and not really sure where to go we're gonna try and give you some tips yeah we thought we could do that yeah so you've got your basics like you know your main contributors like straws coffee cups plastic bags drink bottles that includes like water bottles and coca-cola yeah sorry guys um <laughs> well you could get a coca-cola a and a can right or a glass yeah yeah those so cans are lined in plastic yeah so i didn't know that mm, yeah so because they um otherwise it corrodes the tin oh but but it's recyclable. recyclable but i think tin is easily recyclable than glass because it's not as heavy mm. right and so it's in indis- like the thing that I think people forget about plastic and the difference between glass and tin is that plastic degrades every time it's recycled. made into something another yeah. product and it's not really ever being recycled it's kind of like downcycling mm. um depending on what type of plastic it is yeah um and then again it's still going to lose some of its quality so it might only be able to be recycled like five times where tin and glass is endlessly recyclable and yeah. never ever loses its quality yeah is yeah. awesome because yeah. didn't you say that 80 percent of the aluminium that's been made like is still being recycled it's in circulation yes yeah, still yeah. in circulation which yeah, is yeah. amazing yeah so it means all amazing. that energy that it's taken to get it out of the ground yeah and to turn it into what it is now is still being used mm-hmm. and that's what material should be like actually like because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that it takes to get pla- like oil and plastic out turned into a bottle like a single plastic bottle takes like two liters of water and 300 or 500 mils of oil yeah make it only holds like 75 750 mils of water yeah it's crazy what the shit (laughs) so yeah that's why we don't like plastic another reason why we don't like plastic so maybe if you have like a like you've been getting like plastic water bottles or something maybe Mm. like July is the day that it's like, okay, I'm going to go find myself a water bottle 
that I'll like to use and buy it. Yeah. And then you just refill it from the tap or from the filter, wherever you <laughs> fill up your yep. drink bottle. Because, yeah. yeah, if you're saving that plastic on, like, because think about how many plastic bottles you must go through of water. Yeah. But also the amount of money that you save by not buying bottled yes, water. Exactly. It's going to save you a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, like, what's next? Like, if you're already kind of, like, nailing all that sort of stuff, like, think about what is the next item? Like, have a look in your recycling bin or have a look in your rubbish bin and actually be like, right, what is the biggest contributor to this waste right yeah. here? And, yes. and, and do that. So, like, milk, for example. Like, if you were buying milk in plastic bottles, mm. if you don't have access to getting glass bottles or refillables then I recommend buying the Lewis Road Creamery ones because that is in a recycled plastic bottle and, mm. and, it, and it can be recycled in New Zealand. So it's like little things like that as well. It's actually switching from, because like the Anchor Milk bottles that are white, that have all those different layers in it, those things are like actually not really recyclable. Yeah, so that's a change we've made is that we get like yeah. Lewis Road unless like we don't have access to it at the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like something... So even that... That's a change. Yeah. Like, it might not be, like, the best change or, like, the, you know, the best desired outcome at the end. Like, mm. ideally, we don't drink milk because it's a dairy product. But I, know. I really like milk in my coffee and I haven't got into plant-based milks yet. But, you know, it's just, like, making that one step from buying one particular brand to another brand that has thought about its packaging. Yeah. That's a, that's a positive yeah. change. Yeah, that's, like, something you could easily change. Like, if it's something that you normally buy that is in plastic packaging, try find an alternative that is using less plastic or, like, no plastic at all, like it's yeah. in card or something like that. Or bulk buying. Yeah, or that's bulk buying. That's going to be what you're going to be for Plastic Free July. Oh, yeah, that's true. You're going to go bulk buying. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, just think of, like, it doesn't have to be super huge or, like, mm. be like, okay, I'm not doing any plastic for july just do something that realistically you can achieve yeah or it, even if it's just a small change like it's a change and yeah. like we've talked about before if lots of people make mm. small changes it has a huge effect yeah 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 so another couple of things is like you can switch to shampoo bars soap bars oh yeah they're quite good i recommend when you run out of what you're using oh yes once you've run out of shampoo or conditioner which matt's just about finished his because he's just been going solo on finishing up what we have yeah um he'll change to we've got the ethic conditioner and then i'm still going through the fair and square shampoo wow that's lasted you ages yeah it has i because because i don't like wash my hair i might wash it like once or twice a week i don't wash my hair every day that's the same. yeah Maybe once a week so it's, it's lasted me a long time but yeah, yeah. i definitely um I definitely like it. And like the times that I've like gone to the hairdressers and like they've washed my hair, I need to stop actually telling them to do that because I'm like, actually, it's not any better than. <laughs> it's than not, shampoo. Eh? No. It's interesting. Mm. So. Yeah, I think I really love the thick products. Yeah. And I think have also started doing little tester bars as well. Yes, the minis. Yeah, so. so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me too, because I want to try some of their shampoos so i thought getting yeah. the little test bars and it's an yeah. easy way because i think they're only i think max like seven dollars that's for, really that's if really not good five dollars so it means yeah. it's an easy way for you to test it out and figure out if, if you like it if you like it yeah 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 um bamboo toothbrush obviously is yeah. another one you can switch to if you're still using plastic yeah. ones and you're about to run out yeah. Same cash. with floss as well, actually. Oh yeah. They've the, got the little glass, oh, the glass bottles with the silk refills, which are compostable. Mm. Yeah. Good old yeah. check the eco brush out. Yeah. Shavers, safety razors is a good one when you finish with your plastic one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't go back to like a like the safety razors. I get a way better shave from a safety razor oh, yeah. than I do from a plastic so i was shaving my underarms today yeah and i was like do you know what this is actually amazing i've only gone through three blades in a year that's crazy that's ridiculous are you sure yeah oh 
We, Why, I do think you go we go more? through but more than that. But, but me Matt and Matt are sharing. Space. Yeah. Oh, that's true. So he's doing it a bit more it's regularly. It's more aggressive. And plus it's kind of cold, so don't shave as much. Pardon? <laughs> it's oh. cold, so don't shave as much. No, I don't. Yeah, we a guy still shaves even when it's cold. Yeah, that's true. Well, it gets to the winter months and I'm like, well, no one's really going to be seeing my legs, so. Just need to shave my knee when I got this big <laughs> hole in my jeans. <laughs> um, what else is some easy switcheroes? Um, maybe thinking about getting a reusable cup or yep. sitting in. If you have time in the morning, taking yeah. that like space for that's just you. Yes. That's something else we talked about when having like a mental health plan is like making sure you're taking because everyone thinks about other things happening yeah. that day and that you need to take moments for yourself. Yeah. So just having a coffee and the having a coffee, be present that. in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something and I forgot. And what would be what? Because you like the Joko cup, say. Yeah, so I did quite a lot of research before I spent $30 on a coffee cup. Yeah, because um, you want to like, like it. This is like my very first sort of like big change. Mm. Um, and I did loads of research about what the best coffee cup was. And it was between the Joko and the Keep cup. Um, I knew that I wanted glass. Yeah. And the other thing that was really important for me was to have a wide handle that I can actually hold on with my whole hand. Mm. I find the keep cups are quite narrow and you kind of kind of hold on to it with like two fingers and your thumb. Oh. Where you can get your whole hand on the sleeve on the joker. Oh, right. I see what you're meaning. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, like, what are you talking and you're about? Like, and you've got these actions going, you're like, say what? Yeah. Um. Yeah, the cups, I I have a keep cup that I got mm. ages ago. And then as a Christmas present, we got the Nespresso cups, which is like a thermos cup. So oh, I, quite yeah. like, I quite like the thermos cups because it, I take a while to drink my coffee. Yep. So it keeps your coffee hot for ages. Oh, yeah. Rather than I found my keep cup, same thing as that. Yep. I wanted to make sure I had glass. Yeah. Um, but I find it just, well, it just like gets colder fast, but obviously because it's not in like a double ward thermos thing. Yeah. So it's a stainless steel thermos, Yeah, stainless right? steel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Kelly was just introduced those mm. to her range. Oh, cool. Mm. Yeah. So that I quite, I quite like them because especially by my second cup, I only have two cups a day, three if I'm feeling like I need one at 12. <laughs> it's a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it means, yeah, I can spend the time and actually, like, drink it while I'm working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. get that. So it's just, like, and, like, my friend has a very cool ceramic mm. one, which I absolutely love. And she's, like, I, I don't think I would try a different. She's, like, I quite like it. But yeah. she got it from someone in New Zealand. I can't remember. There's quite a few New Zealand ceramic artists that sell yeah. them. So it's just find one that you like. And then maybe if you have a friend that has a cup, being like, can I use it? <laughs> Take it for a test drive. Take it for a test drive. Why not? not? Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. That's something very easy that you yeah, can yeah. change. Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, that's the first thing that I did to make my change. And, like, maybe set a, like, use it as a, like, to set a rule for yourself, which is what I did with the cup. Yeah. So, like, if you don't have an alternative to what it is, you're using mm. if you want to ditch like the coffee cup like if you want a coffee and you don't have your cup you can't have a coffee yeah. takeaway coffee or you have to have one in so just like kind of set yourself some like rules like around it yeah like something really easy and really simple just to make it because you don't want it too hard because otherwise you're not gonna enjoy no it. just yeah just don't, like we said before yeah. make it make it like really think about what's realistic for you mm. yeah just like i think i did one of my a hundred days. I think I just did it recently. It's like, just commit to bringing your reusable bags into the supermarket with you. And if you don't have them, carry, carry or go back and get them. Yeah, yeah. Go back to your car. Which, that's what everyone will have to do after. <laughs> well, yes, other than those who don't have a car and they walk to the supermarket. That's true. But then that's more of an incentive for you to remember the bags, <laughs> Yeah, it really right? was. I remember taking, <laughs> walking home like that. Yeah. 
because I forgot my bags, so I don't forget them often now. No. Yeah. And uh, what else? I'm trying to go through. Through your 100 days. Yeah, seeing what else. I think you just need to keep it simple. Like, just you really work out what it is that is a big contributor and something that you can easily change. Yeah. Yeah, that's key. So just kind of like, I guess, do an assessment of what you waste in the week. Work out what it is that you can easily change for you and your family. Yeah. Do it with a friend. Yeah, it's true. Just like how my coworkers are doing junk-free July, I'm doing plastic-free July, and together they'll end up being more plastic-free. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Cool. Ah, speaking of um, junk-free. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited to finally come across some potato chips that are in home compostable packaging. I know. I've seen your excitement Woo-hoo! online. <laughs> oh my gosh. And they're good. Like, so proper chips in New Zealand. Um, so they're New Zealand made palm oil free. Like, they're like quite a good, good yeah. company. Also good chips. Also very good chips. A little bit more pricey, but mm. Chips are a treat, right? Yeah. Because they're in packaging. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you make your own, which I'm really not good at doing. But yeah, you can now find them in home compostable packaging, which is a huge win, I think, for packaging solutions. Yeah, I think so as well. It's yeah. showing that... It can those, be done. Yeah, it can be done. Those packaging solutions are starting to come out and they're being more commercially available to yeah. big companies, which is awesome. Yeah. 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 So That's are they going to be doing that in the long run because i saw that they were doing was it just like a trial so it's like a limited edition range like two limited edition flavors and compostable pa- packaging mm. so i guess it's a test run to see how it, how the feedback they get from yeah. it um and then once the other like the rest of their packaging runs out they'll just slowly start introducing them yeah cool it's exciting yeah i haven't been able to find them in a supermarket i've been like i just want a bag of chips mm. Because this is what we talked about in one of our podcasts and struggles and sacrifices is that I gave up potato chips. Like, I yeah. love potato chips. And, like, that's, like, a nice little comfort thing for me. And I was always a person at the party standing next to the bowl of chips, scoffing them down because yeah. I don't buy them. No, Matt's the same. He loves, like, yeah. if he's getting a treat, it's, like, most likely a yeah. bag of potato chips. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm, there's some still at home and now I'm thinking about them. <laughs> mm. We can, where are they? Is it in supermarkets or is it just they just? They should be in supermarkets. So ethically, Kate found them in a supermarket. She was like on a hunt for them. Mm. <laughs> She's like, where is this? I need to try it for myself. <laughs> and um, I've been looking at supermarkets and haven't been able to fi- find them. But mm. yesterday they were doing like a little giveaway thing in Britomar and I went down and saw Kate and picked up a free bag of chips. Just one bag? I know. They should have given me one of each. Yeah. <laughs> should have sent Simon down to get it yeah. back. <laughs> I'm like, you have to go. Go. Oh, well. But, yeah, if you yeah. find them, have a, have, a, have a look. But home compostable packaging. So don't buy them and put them into your landfill thinking that that's okay because it's not. No. It has to go into composting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. You just like looked at me sad because you don't, have, I don't a have a compost. <laughs> well, Maybe that's something I can look at doing. You need to get a compost so you can eat some chips. Yeah, I know. I really need to sort that out. Yeah. Did you see that I sent you a composting workshop close to us? No. When did you send me that? I'm sure I, I'm sure I sent it to you. I invited you to it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Just flat out ignored it. <laughs> Probably. Um, yep. Whatever was this on Facebook? It. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's probably why. Because I don't check Facebook as regularly as I normally do anymore. I actually hate Facebook. Yeah. I, I find it so unfriendly for as a bit as like having a business like a work page. Mm. Like someone tagged me in a post and it just didn't even tell me that I was tagged in a post. Yeah, I find how they notify you of things is a bit weird. Weird, yeah. So I use it for like like we have like a hockey yep. page for our team and yep. that's how we communicate with our team. Yeah. That's really all I use it for. Oh, and for the rat club. Yeah. Seeing all the rat cute. <laughs> yeah, there's a New Zealand rat club. Of course there is. And you, uh, and you go on and you look at all the cute photos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of Facebook, shall we wrap this up and tell people where they can find yeah. us? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> 
So don't forget to join our Facebook page group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that you can be a part of the conversation. No, but in all seriousness, we do check that regularly. And yeah, I we do, do get notifications for that. So please join our Facebook group. Please be a part of the conversation. Tell us what you're doing this Plastic Free July. And tell us what you want to listen to, what sort of topics. We've scheduled most of our stuff in, but we have some blank spaces that we'd love to talk about what you want to listen about. Yeah, exactly. We'd love to hear your guys' feedback and what you think of the podcast or, like, what changes you've made or any tips because I'm more than happy. Yeah, we're still learning too, right? Like, yeah. this is a process, to do, a long journey. It's not, it doesn't happen overnight. No, exactly. Yeah. Cool. But everything else is linked below. Yeah. You can follow us on Instagram. And hopefully you're listening to us, like, on our new platform, Spotify. Yeah, Spotify, iTunes, basically anywhere you can find a podcast, you should be able to find us. <laughs> um, so if people didn't want to want to also follow you, Crystal, where would they go and how would they do it? Cool. So you can follow the Eco Society over on Instagram, Facebook, and there's also a website where we have a little store selling all our favorite eco goodies from brands that share similar ethical and sustainable values to us. And Nick, you can follow her and her 100 days over on. Yeah. Um, at underscore Nick underscore Nick on my Instagram. Um, yeah. Come in, and, come in and check us out. Or even if you want to be like, oh, I've tried this and I don't know if it's working. Or we're more than happy to have a conversation with you about that. Yeah. We're always around for a chit chat. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. See you next See time. See you next time. Bye.